How's it going? Today I'll be showing you how we can use and define enums in the Rust programming language. So basically enums are a way to express your code in a descriptive and simple way where appropriate. So in order to define an enum in Rust, we can use the enum keyword followed by the name of your enum. In my case, I'm going to define one called direction. Then you use two curly braces and inside here is where you define all the variants of your enum. So for me, we're going to have four. First being up, then down, then left, then right. So this enum represents a direction that a player might be moving towards in a game, for example. Now inside the main function, we can define a new variable of this type. For example, we can say let player direction of type direction equal to direction, a double column to access a variant, and then for example, up. So now this player direction variable is of type direction, and the value is this variant right here. So now in order to use your enum, it's quite common to see uh, the match statement where you can basically uh, provide a variable, for example, player direction, and then do different things based on the value of this variable. So it works like a switch statement in other languages. For example, we could type in direction up, then an arrow, and we can print line, we are heading up. Now this code will execute if the value of play direction is direction up. Let's do the same thing for the other four. Alright, we'll try and run this and see how we go. And we see we get we are heading up because Obviously, the value of play direction is direction up. We can make it down, and we should see a different result. We see we are going all the way down. And we are getting these warnings because we don't ever actually use uh, these other variants in the code, even though we've defined, um, you know, if we do get them, then do something, but we're not actually using them. But these are just warnings, you might never see these. And that is how we can use enums in Rust. You can even put values inside your enums, but that's a bit advanced and I suggest you take a look at the Rust documentation if you're curious about that. But that's all for this video, thank you for watching, see you later.